This is K4ATZ. We're going to talk about the KX3 and automatic antenna control for your rig and your antenna. Um, I'm going to basically uh, explain what the manual says and then show you how this works and what it does to help control your antenna. Um, some antennas like the Step IR antennas track the KX3's band and frequency by watching for IF, which is the rig information packets from the transceiver. Some computer logging and contesting applications set up the KX3 output these messages periodically allowing the antenna control to eavesdrop. So what it'll do is it'll tell your antenna where you are in frequencies, um, but it will not do this just by happenstance. Um, if you're not using the software from the antenna, or you're not using the computer at all, you can set up the KX3 to output these IF packets periodically to antenna controller. Um, and this has to be done by setting up the menu um, or the antenna control and the packets are sent once per second while the VFO is being changed. So if you're using the login contesting type software, um, check with the manufacturer before setting this um, because some of them may not tolerate this particular radio's um, IEF packets. Now, to get the IF packets, you, of course, um, need to, or the best thing to, to send to the computer is to have the um, plug for the ACC1 port. And most people are going to have the USB connector. Some people may have the serial port, the older style, called the RS-232. But most people are probably going to have the USB. Now, to do this with the radio, oh, you're going to have to go into the, to the menu. And of course, to go into the menu, you hold down the display button, and then you go into the menu. Um, you're going to have to get to the auto INF. And if you didn't know, this is an alphabetical order for the most part. So when you get to the auto INF, you'll see of course it's going to say auto INF and the preset is to norm. Now to change things you generally do this but this will say locked. However directions will come up and I'll say to unlock hold the kilohertz for three seconds. So that's what we're going to do and the kilohertz button is right next to the menu so you're going to hold for three seconds and it's unlocked now and now it'll allow you to say rig control. If you hear that other beeping, don't worry about it. That's my, uh, I've got a mail notification on my mailbox. So when the mail gets delivered or when somebody opens the box, it, it notifies me. And it's, you know, cam radio operators always got gadgets. So you're going to go to from normal to rig control. And you can see it says rig control or CTRL. Then you're just going to go back out of the um, menu, and now you've got the radio set up to where it's going to send those that information to the uh, USB port, or if you have it directly to some uh, antenna or antenna controller or whatnot, and that's going to just vary on the type of antenna controller you have. So um, you'll go back to your main display, and it's set set up to do that. Um, I am going to set it back to normal because I am not using that kind of antenna. I am using a infed antenna, which is um, about 55 feet. I do have another one that's about 98 feet. This 55 foot one infed antenna just has a balance on one end and 55 foot of wire. I do have it on another KX3. Uh, video on on the site or on YouTube, but this uh, antenna was, is from um, a guy on eBay, and it, it's amazing how good that thing does, even with the QRP. Um, it really is a good antenna. So if you'd like more information, just ask me about it. But anyways, this will, that's a brief video on how to set up the automatic antenna control so you can control your antenna 
automatically via the VFO control whenever you change it it will send those that information directly to your antenna this is not for all antennas these are specific antennas like I said the step IR antenna or other ones um, you'll have to check with your antenna the antenna manufacturer 73 is from K4ATZ